What's up guys, Simply Coco here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will always respond to your comments. So today we are here with another speed build. I am doing a modern eco home today. Um, I'm still on this, you know, eco lifestyle kick. I'm, the more I do these types of builds, I'm getting really, really uh, more and more excited about this pack. I just wanted to say sorry for the going MIA the past three days. Uh, I just needed a break, wasn't really getting any inspiration. Um, not a lot of people have been watching my um, New Leaf Apartment series, so I just wanted to take a break from that and just kind of find some inspiration for another type of eco build. I will still be continuing the New Leaf Apartment uh, series. Um, I just wanted just a short little break from it, but I will have another video uh, for that series tomorrow. So pay attention, uh, watch out for that. Uh, I'm really excited about the character that I'll be doing for that apartment. So yeah, it'll be fun. So that'll be back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm doing this eco, uh, modern eco home today. Um, it's really, I was looking at a reference photo. Sorry that I didn't put the, sorry that I'm not going to put the photo up. I will start doing that as soon as I get a better editing software. Uh, right now I'm just using what come, right now I'm just using the um, editing software that came with my computer. So if that can, if that tells you anything, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, I imagine this being a really self-sustaining home, very eco-friendly, um, it will be solar powered. Um, you'll see me put solar panels on it later and I'll go ahead and, explain what kind of family I imagine living here because it kind of goes into what I'm doing right now with the garden. So these debug, um, these debug items, these are debug like garden plants or like crops, I guess you would call them, but they are debug. I imagine this lot would look a lot better with uh, actual like plants that grows in the Sims. Um, but I just, was being lazy and didn't feel like doing that because I would have had to put the plants down and then go into live mode, plant them and then play the game as and let them grow and then come back and finish the build um, or then upload it to the gallery. So I just went ahead and put the debug ones in there. Um, if you want to use actual plants in the game that you can make money from, then you can just delete those debug items and then plant some plants there yourself. Um, but speaking of plants, I do... Oh, real quick, these like little... What are they called? Like wood pieces are from Debug as well. These like wood uh, panels or these little plank-like things, they came from Debug. These stones came from Debug. Uh, this little stone path just leads into like an outside utility room. And then those little wooden, wooden planks I just put on the other side. You see me laying, laying them out now. Um, they're not really, they don't really have a purpose. It's just like a, a, like a little pathway out into, um, this little part of the garden. Nothing serious is going to be over here. Just a lot of, uh, wild grown plants. And then, um, the plants that are up against the window. I end up putting two more against the fence and those, uh, could been, could have been planted by, um, someone that lives here and they need to be maintenance. So they have, they have this little path to get there. I do end up placing some other little plants that are in the build and buy catalog out here too. That are, they're kind of like a cluster of plants. But um, sorry if I'm talking fast. This is a shorter speed build. It would have been a lot longer. Um, but just a disclaimer: I don't do the clutter. You won't see me do the clutter in the video, just because I didn't want the video to be too long. So I'm sorry about that. I know a lot of people that watch Sims videos on YouTube, they really like them to be longer, like the longer the videos, the better. But um, yeah, I didn't, I, didn't I didn't want it to be too long. These bags are fertilizing bags or like fertilizer bags. They have like dirt in them, I assume, or something. And I end up putting that in the utility room. It, they'll stay right there for a while, but I end up putting them in the utility room. But like I've been trying to say for the past three hours, um, I imagine uh, the people that live here, I imagine it being a mom, a dad, and their young daughter. Um, well, I say young, but she'd be a teenager, I imagine. Um, I, would, I would say the mom is a stay-at-home mom, and she's a gardener. She's the one that, take cares, that takes care of the plants and um, 
yeah, I imagine she take she takes care of the plants and all of that. She's really into those that kind of thing. So she stays at home and does that, and that's how she makes her money. And then the dad, I imagine, is an architect or a, what do you call it, a contractor, and he's the one that actually built this house. And he knew that he knew that his girlfriend or wife was really into the eco lifestyle, so he wanted to、uh, build this house for her. And maybe he built it. Maybe he maybe he started building it a few months before they got married, and then after they got married, he like gave it to her as a gift, or like brought her to her, brought her to the house and surprised her with it. I, I really like that storyline. But then、um, there's a up, there's an upstairs too, as you could see from the exterior when I was doing the exterior. There's an upstairs too, and that ends up being a loft bedroom, and it ends up being the teen kids' bedroom, and it's a humongous bedroom. You'll see it when I furnish it.、Um, and I thought that would be okay because maybe when they moved in, they didn't have a kid yet; they weren't pregnant or anything yet. And then when they had her, they didn't have any other room to put her in, so they just gave her the upstairs loft and. They didn't care that it was a humongous room, you know. Maybe she is a little bit spoiled. I mean, with the dad being a contractor and probably owning his own contracting business,、um, they probably have a lot of money. And I mean,、uh, eco living in real life isn't, you know, cheap. So I imagine them being pretty well off. And then you can make a lot of money in The Sims from、uh, from planning. Uh, plants and flowers and crops and stuff. So I would recommend getting rid of those debug items and planting your own plants.、Um, as you can see, I've been. But yeah, you'll see her bedroom.、Uh, it's the very last thing that I furnished. So you'll see that last, and it's huge. But it's really cute and really colorful, and、uh, really fits with、um, the personality that I imagine she would have.、Uh, but as you can see, I've done. I'm starting. I've. Already started on the interior. I've done the dining room and the kitchen so far.、Um, so in the kitchen, you saw I used those industrial counters.、Um, I did that because I didn't want this place to be. I didn't. I, the out. Yes, it's called mod. An, sorry, I can't speak. Yes, it's a modern eco home. But I was thinking more so of the outside being modern. I didn't necessarily want the inside to have modern、um, furniture.、Uh, I don't really know what style you would call the furniture on the inside, but I didn't want the furniture to necessarily be modern. Just the style and the exterior of the home, I would say, is the modern part, not necessarily the interior. But as you can,、uh, so yeah, I went with the industrial counters because they were, they had wood on them. They looked like they could have been handmade by the dad. He's probably really handy as well,、um, and. Everything else was either like all the other counters were either too traditional or too modern. So that's why I went with those.、Um, same with the dining room table. I went with a wood table and wooden chairs, like they could have been made. And then, as you can see in the living room, I went with this very brown、uh, color scheme, and I do eventually change that. So at some point,、um, when I go back to the interior, you'll. Interior, you'll see that the colors in the living room changed to all white instead of this all brown. It just looked too dull, like too dull,、um, and I just was not here for it. I didn't like it at all. Like I liked it, but it, I just feel like it didn't work for this build. It was too, it was too dark for this build.、Um, I feel like. I feel like people that live in eco homes have a more colorful personality,、um, but at the same time, I still didn't want it to be colorful. I just didn't want it. To, I just didn't want it to be dark. So I went with a more all white situation,、um, just like an all white and black situation, so that it looked a little more clean and a little more slick.、Um, But at this point in the video, I have changed the colors. You just can't see it quite yet, but you'll see it a whole lot better in the screenshots. Now I'm doing the parents' bedroom.、Um, I guess you could consider this to be the master bedroom, even though it's smaller than the、um, teens' room. I imagine before they had the teen. 
or before they had their daughter, I imagine that that upstairs loft area was probably just used for storage. Maybe the dad kept a lot of pap old paperwork up there and um, just a lot of stuff that he that deals with his job. Maybe the mom kept a lot of planting stuff up there, like extra watering cans and stuff. Maybe uh, I do give the daughter a yoga mat, so maybe they had a small maybe they use some of the air the space up there t uh for yoga and just other skill building things maybe they had up there maybe i do put i do give the daughter a tv up there so maybe that tv has already has always been up there and they just had it stored up there and wasn't using it or something um but yeah so i imagine they really didn't use it for much but some but storage and maybe some yoga every now and then um but yeah, they didn't see the need to get a whole, you know, he spent a lot of money to build this house. So I wouldn't imagine, you know, unless they planned on having another kid, I wouldn't imagine them moving out. And then with her being a teen, she'll be off to college soon. And, you know, that would go back to being storage um, until she, you know, came home to visit. But as you can see, I'm in her room now. It ends up being really cute, and I would have loved this room as a teen. Um, the only thing I don't like is the fact that it's a loft room. Um, I would have definitely needed a door, uh, some walls and a door because her parents could come up here at any time without any warning. And, you know, if she snuck a boy in or something or, you know, was doing something she wouldn't want them seeing her doing... You know, she wouldn't have a whole lot of privacy, but um, if you wanted to, you could definitely get rid of the kind of landing area here and make those make this glass uh, fencing. You could just make that a wall and then bring it like bring the wall out one from the stair and then just put a door and then there. And then you have some privacy. I thought about doing that, but I liked having this landing. It made the room a lot more open. I thought putting walls there, it would have made the space around her bed and the computer really confined and look really small. So having it be a landing, I thought really uh, opened it up more and just, you know, made it look bigger or not bigger because the room is big, but just more open and not so enclosed because it's really a tight area uh, right here in this corner. But I do give her a lap, her own laptop. I assume they gave it to her for, you know, high school or just, you know, because she's getting close to going to college. And then I give her the seating area over here. I do end up, excuse me, if you actually heard that burp, I am so, so sorry, <laughs> but I'm not going to edit it out and I'm not going to redo this voiceover. So yeah, there's that. I just ate Raisin Cane's and yeah drinking dr pepper whatever okay <laughs> back to the build i did give her a gaming system i imagine she would have a lot of friends over uh that would want to play i imagine she's a gamer herself um i imagine her being really like a like a girly girl but she has a lot of boyfriends like not 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 boyfriends in the traditional sense of the of the term but like she has a lot of boys that are friends so therefore she um entertains them in that area with the with the gaming system uh i wouldn't imagine her being a girl that has a lot of um girls that are friends maybe she doesn't like the drama um or something not to say that all girls cause drama but maybe that's just her kind of um that's just kind of her um i do apologize for all the spinning around in this video um i haven't I've taken, well, before I took this last three-day break, I took another three-day break because I was sick. So I think I just kind of lost my way a little bit with doing these because I was starting to get better with not moving around so much. Um, but this video, I'm all over the place and it's giving me a headache. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but once I get more aware by doing more speed builds more often again, I will um, definitely work on that and fix that. But I was looking around so much because I was trying to figure out a place for to give her a, a closet because I forgot to give her a dresser. And then when I went to put one in, I didn't like where it was placed. So I just was like, OK, let's give her a full on closet. Um, 
but yeah as you but then i did put one in there as you can see and i just uh made her little entertaining space a little uh smaller but i kind of really like the whole storyline of her having you know a lot of guy friends and maybe there's one guy friend that really really likes her and has a huge crush on her and it's her best friend in the whole wide world like out of all the guys but she just he doesn't want to say anything and she just sees him as a friend and he doesn't want to ruin their relationship whatever you know the story <laughs> uh but as you can see i'm doing the bathroom and um laundry room so this laundry room is connected to this bathroom i would assume that this bathroom right here is more of the guest bathroom like this is the bathroom people would use if they were over and uh visiting it's actually the biggest bathroom in the house but i thought that made sense because it's connected to the laundry room there is a two by two bathroom in the living room area just so that if someone is in the living room area chilling they don't have to you know come to the other side of the house just to use the bathroom because as you could see from the uh exterior the the two sides of the house are separated uh just by like a little walkway but the walkway is outdoors so you have you have the bedrooms and the living room on one side of the house and then you have the dining room and the kitchen and the laundry room on the other side of the house um but i didn't mind that at all i just wanted to make sure i got a bathroom on both sides of the house I don't like that the bathroom on the bedroom side of the house is smaller, but you technically could bring it one more tile out or two more tiles out towards the front door if you want it to make it bigger, if you downloaded this off the gallery. Um, I'm doing the backyard now, but I just wanted to say, don't forget to turn on move objects, BB move objects before you place this lot, because every time I've uh, gotten out of it and gone back in, something has disappeared. That doesn't happen to me a lot, but it did happen in this build. So don't forget to turn that on before you place it. And also my origin ID is simply Coco underscore 94. Um, this, is con this is custom content free, so you're good there. Um, but it does, I never packed restrict, so it does have a lot of packs in it. Um, I don't have every pack, but I do have quite a few. It's mostly the stuff packs I don't have. Um, but the screenshot should be rolling and I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot more to say, but yeah, I forgot. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.